When I was around eight, my father bought our first home desktop, which was a uh, HP running Windows 98. Since then, we got two more Dell desktops. During my senior year of high school, I won a scholarship for a brand new HP Pavilion. Uh, laptop, which I later installed Windows 8 and decorated to the way it is today. However, this summer, I bought my first MacBook, the 2013 MacBook Air 13-inch. Since I bought it, I've been getting a lot of criticism and hate uh, from a lot of my friends who say I'm a sellout because I bought a Mac just because it was more popular, which is completely false. I bought a MacBook because for my purposes, Apple produces a superior laptop than Windows. First disclaimer, if your budget is less than $1,000, this argument is completely irrelevant to you. There are no Macs under $1,000. However, there are plenty of really nice Windows 8 laptops and hybrids um, that are way less than 1000 bucks, so might as well get a Windows. Secondly, I needed something for college, which means it had to be a laptop, it had to be portable, had to have lots of battery life. Uh, most of what I do on it is just web surf, uh, make documents, make spreadsheets. Lastly, I don't game on my laptop. I'm not a gamer in general. And I don't edit movies on my laptop. I have a laptop, Windows laptop at home, strictly dedicated to video production. Let's start with the hardware. The MacBook is made from a single piece of aluminum. Most of your Windows laptops are gonna be about 10 or 15 so pieces of plastic screwed in together. Listen. And even though it's one giant hunk of metal, it's actually really light and incredibly thin. For comparison, this is my Nexus 5, the cell phone that fits into my pocket. Lined up to the edge with my MacBook Air. Yeah. And yes, there are Windows laptops that are as thin as strong and as light, but most of those high-end ones are actually much, much more expensive than the Mac. I'm always out and about, so battery life is very, very important to me. There is nothing that Windows makes that is this light that gets 10 to 12 hours of battery. Dell does make some of these giant notebooks that do last like 10, 12, 15 hours, but they're like this thick and the majority of their weight is just pure battery. The reason the MacBook Air can have a regular size physical battery but last so damn long is because of the brand new Intel Haswell processor. At the time that I purchased the MacBook Air, there was only one mainstream Windows laptop, which was a Sony Vio. Uh, I'm not sure what the exact name is, but it also had a Haswell processor. Here's the thing though, Windows is a much heavier operating system than Mac OS. So even though they have the same uh, processor and very similar physical batteries, the Windows only got like a fraction of the battery life that the Mac does because its operating system was so damn heavy. Probably the most important reason is because Apple makes dedicated laptops, which Windows doesn't. Windows is now concentrating on this kind of laptop, tablet, touchscreen hybrid, like pull apart things, which are really cool, but they're not good laptops. The trackpad on a MacBook undeniably is better than any trackpad on any Windows, period. Well, we don't need a trackpad. We have touchscreen, except what you're using a laptop for mostly is web surfing and you know working on documents. Going from the keyboard right down to this trackpad is a much easier motion than going from the keyboard and then having to look at the screen and click on what you want. This is much more effort than this. And in theory, it makes sense that having a touchscreen on your laptop is a good thing. My phone has a touchscreen. My tablet has a touchscreen. Why shouldn't my laptop have a touchscreen? because the things you use your laptop for aren't designed for touchscreens. For example, if I'm going to a mobile website on either uh, my phone or my tablet, there are humongous buttons designed for your fingers to click on. However, if I go to the true websites, the ones that I want to go on because I have my laptop available, those websites are not designed for touchscreens. For anyone who's ever used traditional web pages on a touchscreen, you understand how frustrating using a touchscreen is. You have size 12 font, all of the web page that are clickable. However, each finger click is so big that you can't differentiate between which one you want. And then the browser has to open up a magnifying glass for you to pick. 
If I just want to maximize my window, the button for maximize is so small and it's right next to the close button, right next to the minimize button, that when I click on it, I can't actually choose. I'm not accurate enough to pick what I want to use. And that's because web pages and most web browsers and you know Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, they're still designed for trackpads and mouses, not for fingers directly. If you want to use a touchscreen, Get a tablet where people are developing applications based on touch interface. However, if you want to use things that people traditionally use mouses for, get a laptop with a dedicated sensitive trackpad or use a mouse. Don't get something with a touch screen because the touch screen is absolutely useless. And now I'm kind of moving on into the software. Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 are both really stupid formats for traditional laptops. The live tiles are pretty cool, I'll give you that. They're really fast and they're always changing and it's a really cool way to get all your information all in at once. However, this is not a tablet where I'm using all the live tiles 24 seven. I'm going onto my laptop so I can go into the desktop mode. And as soon as I go into the desktop mode, all those tiles disappear, which means they're completely useless when I'm in desktop mode, which is what I'm using my laptop it's a great interface for tablets and phones. It just doesn't make sense to put them on a desktop where I'm using the desktop mode for the majority of the time. Next, the Mac gives you the complete freedom to choose what operating system you want to use. You can completely and legally install Windows 8 or any variation of Windows on your Mac. However, you can't install Mac software on a Windows because Windows forces you to use their software. This means I can use apps that are only available to PC or play video games only available to PC on my MacBook. However, I can't run any Mac apps on my Windows. I'm used to using multiple desktop monitors at home. Um, and while you, you can't feasibly get multiple portable monitors for a laptop, having multiple desktops running in your Mac kind of compensates for that, which is something you can't really do with a Windows. Windows, when they upgraded to Windows 8, charged you, I think, what was it, 80 bucks um, for download and installation of Windows 8. Apple gave OXX Mavericks to all its Macs made in like the last five years for absolutely free. The Mac software comes with so much better built-in apps. There's iMessage, which is compatible with all iPhones and it makes talking so much easier. So I screenshot a lot, whether it's for sharing with other people or you know, making videos about it. And it's so much easier on the Mac because I can just press four buttons and it can either copy to my clipboard or save right on desktop. Whereas in Windows, I have to press uh, print screen, take the entire screenshot of the entire screen, open up Paint, paste it there, save it, then go to another application and have to crop out just what I want to see, which is kind of a huge hassle. And Preview, which is the default uh, PDF opener in Mac, lets you open up files and take notes straight on them and write straight on them which is something that you can't do uh, in Windows. And this is like a lifesaver for anyone who's taking notes on PDFs and filling out online forms and submitting them through email, which is like 90% of what I do as a college student. And lastly, but certainly not least, there are no bloatware on MacBooks. So if you buy a Windows laptop, let's say I get an HP laptop, I have the default Windows 8 or 7 software. But on top of that, I have all these apps that HP forced me to get. Like, I don't know, HP Media Assistant, um, HP Help Center, HP System Updates, HP CD Burner, and it's all this bloatware that I'm never gonna use built into my computer. And on top of that, I have like Internet Explorer and all its apps built in that I'm never gonna use. And I have, I don't know, uh, Nora Antivirus, which I'm forced to use as soon as I turn on my computer. And it's just all these softwares that don't go along because there's so many layers from different companies kind of adding to it. Whereas in Apple, it's the same company designing the hardware that's designing the software. So, and, and when you use it, you can feel how everything just kind of goes together, how there's nothing unnecessary about it. Um, and I feel like when you, when you get something that's very pure, that's consistent, because it's made by the same people from the hardware and the software, it just, it just works better. And, and it, just use an Apple and you'll find out how all the apps just kind of mingle and work well together. So there you have it, my reasons for why I believe that Apple makes superior laptops than Windows. 
If you think I'm completely wrong, please leave me comments below. If you think that Windows laptops are better, tell me why. Um, don't forget, like my video and subscribe to my channel. All right, thanks for watching.